Unfortunately, we are here tonight as a result of a officer-involved shooting that resulted in the death of a law enforcement officer here in the city of New Orleans. I have with me today, uh, tonight, Chief Kirk Barales of the Tulane University Police Department, as well as Constable Ed Shorty, or Edwin Shorty of Second City Court. Uh, tonight, there was a basketball game here at George Washington Carver High School. Uh, unfortunately, during this basketball event, uh, an individual attempted to enter the game uh, and had an altercation with one of the staff members as he attempted to enter this, this game. Uh, the officer, and I cannot give his name at this point in time, this is a very, I want to be clear, this is a very fluid situation. Uh, the officer heard this disturbance and attempted to intervene. As a result of him intervening and attempting to escort this individual out of the school, which is right at the, the door of this, the front door of this school, of this building, this individual uh, pulled his weapon out and fired a shot that struck the officer in his chest. The officer was relocated to UMC where he later expired. I will say this, first and foremost, I want to offer my condolences to the family of this officer, to the family of Tulane University, to the family of the constable office. And I know many of you are wondering why is Tulane University here and why is the constable office here? This officer that we lost, this brother in blue that we lost tonight was a Tulane police officer, but he was also a reserve officer with the second city court constable office. Uh, this is a very fluid situation. Our mayor, Mayor Latoya Cantrell, has been informed of this situation. She is well aware of this situation. She extends her condolences, her thoughts and prayers to all, to this officer's family, to Tulane University and its family, as well as the constable and his family. We do have an individual detained at this time who we do believe is responsible for this act. Again, this is a very fluid situation. Our homicide detectives, our homicide division will be the lead in this investigation, while our force investigation team will assist throughout this process. Normally, fit force investigation team would take lead on officer involved shootings but this is a death investigation and as such homicide will take lead in this investigation so again we offer our prayers and condolences to this officer and his fam his family uh i will not be able to give his name we will follow up at a later time with his name as well as the individual we have in custody and hopefully we can give you some more information or context as to what actually occurred tonight. But this is all I can give you tonight. I will not be able to answer any questions because of the fluidness of this situation. So please be patient with us. And, and I thank you for being here to allow us to give this information to our community as best as possible. Thank you.